Hey guys, let's just give it two or three minutes so we can get everybody on. And then we're gonna get to the meat of the Hey guys, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. We're just gonna take a couple minutes so everybody can jump on and then we'll get right to it, okay? Hey guys, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. We'll get right to it, okay? Just gonna give it five minutes so everybody can jump on and then we will get everything started. Amazing, amazing. All right, guys. We've got a ton of people on today. Cool, cool, cool. So the focus of today, guys, is, is a live support call. I want to take the time. One, I'll talk about my history, everything I've done uh, with lead gen. I wanna cover you some of the results that I've had, the amazing results that I've had with lead generation. And then I would like to just take us an hour or 30 minutes to answer as many questions as you guys have. And then, awesome, awesome, awesome. We got Tony in the house. What's going on, Tony? Hey, Connor, I'm glad you put this out here. I was gonna ask you some stuff about Phil's Loan Broker Network. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, so if you may not know me or if this is your first time seeing me, I joined Phil's program about two years ago and I've had some amazing results. Um, again, that keyword number is two years. I've taken a lot of time to just learn as much as I can about marketing, about lead generation, going to all of the masterminds, building valuable relationships, amazing networks, had a lot of fun with the guys. Um, in Vegas and Texas and Long Island, Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Uh, we travel all over the place and it's just been a great time. Um, been doing this for about two years now and I just want to show you some of the results that I've gotten so far. I'll show you what I'm working on right now as far as lead generation and then I'll just give it to you guys and answer as many questions as you have about business loans, business mortgages, and lead generation in total. So first thing I wanna do guys is, it's been a long journey, short journey, I'm only 28, so it's been two years so far. I wanna show you the kind of results that I've gotten um, just by doing lead generation, right? Some out of these world numbers, it's been a year and a half, I would say. So let me just quickly share my screen with you guys. I'm going to go over my Google ads accounts, my Facebook accounts, some of the things that I've done. So let's get right to it. Um, this is going to be a quick overview. I just really want to show you guys that this does work and, you know, I have gotten great results with it, but the main reason behind that is because I committed so much time and effort to learning about lead generation, building networks, building contacts, going to, seminars like LeedsCon um, in Vegas. That's gonna be in, uh, we have a mastermind in two weeks. We're going to that, hope to see you guys there. So this is just one of my Google Ads accounts. You can see 2020 to 2022 spent 241,000. Um, 
We've got my main ads account here for business loans. We spent 62,000 on that. This is just Google. We spent this in six weeks alone, 105,000 on Medicare, right? I want you guys to have the same success as this as well, right? And I'm not doing this as any kind of uh, show or whatever. Um, <laughs> it's actually pretty funny because I thought I had a great accomplishment here when I made my first six figure month. Uh, I called Phil and I was like, Phil, you're not going to believe it, bro. I, I made a hundred thousand this month. And he was like, oh yeah, I remember my first hundred thousand dollar month. So I was like, okay, kind of humbled me a little bit. I called one of our friends at Concussion Media, Josh. And I was like, so excited. You know, I was like, hey, Josh, what's going on, man? I just made my first hundred K. And he was like, per day? And I was like, oh shit, what am I dealing with here? You know, so these are the guys that, that you know, are in my network, who I'm learning from, who I'm growing from. And um, of course we have Carlos on the paper call side, you know, running the Medicare. This wouldn't have been possible if I didn't join Phil's lead generation program, right? This is just simple um, showing you guys that this actually does work. You know, you gotta put the time in. This has been two years down the line doing this. Um, you know, and I, again, the purpose of this call is to give you guys some support. You know, some of you are doing business loans. Some of you are doing paper calls. Some of you are doing mortgages. Some of you are doing lead gen in general. I just want to answer as many questions as you guys have today. So you guys can get results like this too. And this is just the beginning, right? When I first started out, I was spending $5 a day on Google and ended up ramping this up to, right? cost 11,000 for the month of April and it goes up and down, but I've had some days where I spent 5,000 in one day. I've had some days I spent 500 in one day. The purpose is to find the campaigns that work for you and that can help you make money, right? That's the ultimate objective here. I want you guys to be lead generators. I want you guys to have the knowledge to make the decisions like I have here to make amazing money doing this. Um, so I just want to take that off here. Um, some of the businesses that I've started specifically, I have multiple ad accounts, right? We're doing auto insurance, disaster claims. We're doing financing for businesses, uh, personal loans. We're doing final expense, health insurance. Um, and of course, Medicare, that's a big hitter. So I'm going to pause that for now and just take it back to my screen so that you guys can ask whatever questions that you may have, okay? Again, this is a support call. If you wanna learn specifically about lead generation, that call is at 3 p.m. Um, you can just, it's in the Novatech group, it's inside of Phil's inner circle group. I'm sure you guys got the email as well. So just jump into that if you wanna learn specifically about lead gen today as a support call. This 130 call is a support call. So I'm here to answer your questions, guys. I want you to ask away, okay? We have Henry Lozano. How do we get into the Medicare program? Um, to get into the Medicare program, Henry, just shoot me a text at 305-609-4929 and we can talk more about that. Um, again, this is not a sales call. This is a support call. So I really wanna help you guys achieve your lead generation goals. I wanna show you what I'm doing, how I do it, the strategies that I use to make six figures a month. Um, Israel Ma, now that you know more about lead gen, which offer will you start with? Like I just showed you, uh, Israel, I have many different offers that I'm currently running. We're doing storm damage in Louisiana helping people affected by the recent hurricanes um, to get more insurance claims from their insurance company. We're doing Medicare, we're doing ACA calls, we're doing business loans, mortgages. Uh, the number again, I'll, I'll post it in the chat for you guys. It's 305-609-4929. That's my phone number, just shoot me a text if you want to learn more about lead generation. Um, and I'd love to help you guys get started, help you guys learn as much as you can about this. We have a question from JM Roth. What's going on, boss man? 
Can you please tell us how you got started and how long does it take to ramp up to five and six figures? I initially started as a business loan broker, right? And I was spending maybe five to $10,000 a month doing five to 10K in profit, right? Um, the issue with that is you're kind of limited by one vertical, which is business loans. So I spoke with Phil and I said, how can I really ramp this thing up and how can I you know, make as much money as, as I can? And he goes, you're already doing it, right? You need to jump into the lead gen side. And that's where I focused all of my, uh, all of my time and my effort and my learning. Um, so that would be the easiest way. And look, I'm not going to tell you and sit here and tell you, Jay, that this is something that's easy. That's, you know, that's going to happen overnight. Like I said, I have been doing this for two years. Right. So as long as you're willing to commit and you're willing to learn, the results are there. OK, so for me to get to my first five figure month, it took me eight months for me to get to my first six figure month. It took me about 16 months. Right. Along the way, I made a lot of mistakes, a lot of the right mistakes, of course. And, you know, you've got backup. You've got Carlos. You've got Phil. You've got the concussion guys. Being around people who have the knowledge to do this is what made me successful, okay? So that's really what we're pushing here is one, you have to commit. Two, you have to be willing to learn. And, you know, you absolutely have to just do the work. You know, that's the biggest issue I've seen with people who try to run their own business. They're comfortable where they're at and they don't want to make the sacrifice to put the extra effort in, you know? I did, and it's changed my life. So I wanna show you guys as much as I can. I wanna help you guys as much as I can, okay? We have Joanna Falk. Thank you for this session. Is there a checklist of beginner steps? I am completely new, made the purchase for loan broker. So, you know, as far as a checklist, if you're already in loan broker, I can tell you exactly how I started. I had two computer screens, one of them was you know, my business, the second computer screen was all of Phil's training videos. And I would literally pause and apply it to my business. I'd watch Phil's video, I'd pause, I'd apply it to my business. Obviously nothing works out perfectly the first time you try it. If it did, we'd all be rich, but unfortunately there is a learning curve and you do have to, you know, commit to learning that. Our objective here is to give you all of the resources possible to make you succeed with the smallest amount of effort. We're trying to cut your learning curve down. It took me two years to get to where I am today. If I can cut that time down by half, that would make me, that would be a success for me, okay? Let's see. We got a bunch of questions jumping in. Um, Thank you for the session. We just went over that. Can we add a calendar at the end of our funnel to book an appointment? That's a question from Greg Hicks. That's a great question. And absolutely, if you're in one of Phil's done for you programs, it's already connected into the funnel that you want to get sold to, right? So if you're working with Rock or you're working with the mortgage team, you can absolutely, you know, put a calendar at the end of your funnel. If you want to speak to people, um, I used to do that. I used to get on the phones, bang out a hundred calls a day and get applications, bank statements, submit them. And up to a certain point, I was just spending all of my time on the phone when I really wanted to spend more of my time helping you guys. So if you're in the done for you program, you absolutely could do that. I specifically would spend my time on the highest qualified leads, the people making the most money, the people with the highest credit scores, so you can get a better result for the time you're putting in. That's just my recommendation. But again, everything goes to the sales team already. They're gonna call, close and qualify all the deals for you um, that you want. That is a good question though, Greg. And I absolutely, I, I would do that. It's not a bad idea, right? But I would do that specifically for the people that are the highest qualified, okay? We got a question from Anna. Is there a timing on when you focus on which products? I know Medicare is geared towards open enrollment. 
Absolutely. That's why I run multiple offers. We've got business loans, we've got mortgages, Medicare, ACA, auto insurance, the list goes on and on, right? Some offers run for the whole year. Some offers like Medicare, you go fast and you go hard. And, you know, we spent a hundred thousand dollars in six weeks, right? And then it stops and we wait until October or we wait until the beginning of the year, the January through March enrollment period to do it again. Um, so absolutely, there are different products that have different times. There are some products that run year long. There are some products that run for six weeks, some products that run for three months. It's just up to you to do the research and to find you know, what's working right now. And again, being part of this network is what makes it so valuable. Right, you get a green call, a, 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 car, a call from Carlos, green light. Hey, this offer is hitting. Jump in, bang! I jump in. You get a call from Phil. Hey, mortgage is, is about to crush it. Jump in, bang! You jump in. Right, that's the whole value behind this network. Not only do we build everything out for you, but you get to be part of a network that is. It, I, I'm the youngest guy in the network, and I'm also the brokest guy in the network. So that's a great, as a dumbest guy in the network as well. So it's a great position for me to be in, to learn as much as I can, you know, to make the right mistakes around the right people so that I can get the results that I'm looking for. But again, it all starts with commitment. Um, we've got a next question. Joseph Kittrell, what specifically is the A to Z plan of lead gen? This is a support call. So I'm here to answer your questions about business, about lead generation marketing. Um, if you wanna get the A to Z of lead gen, the call for you would be at 3 p.m. Phil and I are gonna go over the actual lead gen program, everything it comes with, what you guys are gonna get and how we're gonna set you guys up for success. So if you don't have any support questions specifically, I would jump on that call so you can learn as much as you can about that industry. Mr. Mark Steinberg, just don't know where to start with no knowledge. Had to pause my Facebook ads. Um, again, right, Mark, we're doing marketing, right? We're doing lead generation. At some point, there will always be a learning phase. There's always going to be a trial and error phase. Me specifically, I have a monthly budget of three to $5,000 where I just test $1,000 a week, $1,200 a week, $1,500 a week, where I test various offers, right? The ones that hit, I continue and I scale. The ones that don't, I cut it off. There's no emotion behind it. You gotta be cold blooded. I'm not gonna burn money on something that doesn't work. We are here to run our business. We are here to make money, okay? Dwayne Evu, sorry if I butchered your last name. How many different avenues do you have for expanding the loan broker business? That's a great question. If you've ever seen one of Phil's videos, he has like an octopus, right? It's like business loans in the middle and he's got a bunch of different branches where he monetizes his leads. Me personally, I built that same system for myself and it turned out fantastically. Um, what you wanna do is, right? First thing you wanna focus on is finding lead buyers, right? If it costs you five bucks to generate a lead, the average cost for a mortgage lead or a business, sorry, a business loan lead is 20 bucks, right? It costs you five bucks, 20 bucks to sell the lead. That alone should put you in the profit, right? Expanding, you wanna branch off into business loans, into business credit, into business mortgages, into credit repair, into personal loans, into debt consolidation, and jumping this, jumping into this allows you to learn how to do that and to actually jump into it. Hey, Mark, he says he just can't keep spending. I believe me, man, I've been there. You just gotta be willing to learn and commit to it. Obviously don't spend more than you can afford to lose. Every offer has their budget, you know, like I'll give you an example. I'm running an offer for Velocity, storm damage. It's costing $1,500 to generate one qualified lead, right? But they're paying $2,000 per lead. So that's a $500 profit. The issue is some offers take a lot of money to test. Some offers 
don't, right? Generally, when I jump into a new offer, I'll spend a hundred dollars. I'll do my research, of course. I'll go on YouTube, how to run credit repair ads. I'll go on YouTube, how to run business loan ads. I'll look around, I'll see the metrics, I'll see the kind of things that a successful campaign takes to run, and then I'll test it. From there, I'll determine my budget. Business loans took me $100 to launch and to start getting results. Disaster claims took me $5,000 to run and start getting results. It's all about taking your budget and allocating it to various offers so you can generate the lead that your client wants. Okay, we have Mr. Matt Woodworth. What's going on, man? I started my Medicare ads, but I'm not sure how to increase my daily spend. How does that work? When I started into Medicare, I started with one campaign at $35 a day. We were getting paid $35 per conversion. My ultimate goal was to spend $35 and make $35, right? I put the campaign so that I would break even. I ended up being profitable the very first day. I spent 35 bucks. I think I made $105. I had three converted calls. First thing I did was, hey, this campaign is profitable. Instead of increasing my spend on the campaign level, I duplicated my campaign and I doubled my spend, right? And what I did was I tracked every phone number. Every campaign had a different phone number and I tracked the revenue that that specific campaign was generating, right? If it's profitable, I duplicate it. If it's not, I cut it just like that, okay? And literally just by doing that, I went from $35 a day to $5,000 a day within two weeks in spend. Clanisha Jones, hey, how's it going? I haven't seen you before on these calls, so I'm happy you jumped in today. She says, hey, I'm Kay. I am interested in becoming successful in business and sign up for mortgages. I signed up for the business loan program last year. I paid for a two-year subscription. Haven't been able to get into my account and finish the trainings to get started with making money. Do you know how I can reset my login information? To do that, you have to message Phil in the group and tell him um, what you got to do to handle that. If, if, you, if you can't log in, most likely your subscription is over. Um, if not, it might, might just be a technical issue. So message Phil about that and he'll be able to help you uh, do that. What is the done for you program and what does it cost? Uh, that's a question from Joseph Kittrell. I'm gonna send you a link there's multiple different options out there on what it's gonna offer you. But first thing I want you guys to do, just watch the video. It's a short video on the website. Just fill out the video here, loanbrokernetwork.com slash LG1, lead gen one. Um, I posted that in the chat guys. So just click on that, open it up in the background, watch the video when you have time. Honestly, if you don't have time to watch a short video, you're not going to have time to build a successful business. So I really recommend watching this video first, fill out the form, jump on the call today at 3 p.m. so we can answer as many questions as you guys have and we can show you how this all works. Okay. Let's see. Next question. Um, Lewis Betancourt, the 997 program is done for you, right? Uh, no, that's something different. That's a crypto program. Generally the 997, all you get is a website and access to the lenders. That's not necessarily done for you. You're going to have to reach out to Phil for that to get more details. But again, I gave you guys the link at the bottom, loanbrokernetwork.com slash LG1. And you guys can just go to that website, watch the video, you know, and fill out the form and we can reach out. Again, I also gave you guys my phone number. It's 305-609-4929. You can DM me on Facebook. You can shoot me a text um, and I'll be able to help you guys out with whatever you need. So next question is Tony Kuchera. What's going on, Tony? I haven't heard from you in a while, man. How you doing? 
Can you talk a little bit more about Loan Broker Network? It looks like we would run ads to generate leads. The network closes. We make uh, commissions and can also monetize our own leads. Would love to know how you would recommend scaling to five to 10K a month profit. Don't need to try <laughs> to hit 100,000 a month. Uh, the 100K months are nice, you know. I'm not going to complain about that. If you want to scale to five to 10K a month profit, what you really want to do is build your whole infrastructure out, right? You want to have everything working at the same time. If you focus only on generating leads, that's all you're going to do is generate leads, right? They're going to go to rock and they're going to call and close those deals for you, but you absolutely want to have multiple things in place that work automatically, right? The way I built my system is they would go to Rock, they would call, qualify, close those deals for me. I also had a back-end marketing funnel that pushed credit repair, debt consolidation, personal loans, good credit business loans, good credit personal loans, business credit, business mortgage, right? You want to be able to monetize that one lead in as many different ways as possible. And of course, when you have a lead buyer, it just makes your life a whole lot easier because then you can cover your advertising budget before you even close a business loan deal. Okay. Danny Liu, how much do you recommend to spend on lead generation when you start out? Danny, when I started out, I was only spending $5 a day, man. That's all I could afford to invest. So I was spending five bucks a day generating a couple leads. I would call them up. I would talk to them. I'd get my applications, my bank statements, and I would submit that. Um, you don't need a lot of money to start with lead generation. You just have to have the right network and the right knowledge so you can make your business successful, right? It took Phil 10 years to be where he is today. Learning from him, I did it in two years, right? Same thing with Carlos. It took him years and years and years of learning to be able to do this. That's why you want to learn from the right people. You want to learn from people who have already made the wrong mistakes so you can make the right mistakes. All right. And again, this is something you're going to be doing that's new. This is something you're going to be doing. Maybe you've never done it before, right? When I first started, I didn't know how to build a Google ad. I didn't know how to build a Facebook ad. I didn't know how to do online marketing. I just committed to learning. I watched thousands of hours of YouTube videos. I watched thousands of hours on, on Google, spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours on my own business. Again, I have done some things where I, my website shuts down. I've made a mistake, right? And I'm spending 500 bucks a day and my just burning money, right? Those are the wrong mistakes. We're here to help you make the right mistakes so you can get results as fast as possible. And I'm not going to say you're going to be an overnight millionaire. We're not here to sell that bullshit. I'm here to tell you that when you do jump into this, you will learn the skills that you need and you're going to have the resources and the network to learn fast and get the results that you want. Okay. Uh, JC Osorio is the 3 PM call for members or for everybody. The 3 PM call is for everybody. And we're going to talk about more specifically only about lead gen. Um, and we're going to help you guys learn more about that on the call. Okay. Anna Busuego. Hi, I need technical help with Facebook to start. Is there a session for technically challenged group? Um, yeah, I do a Tuesday, Thursday call. This call is for your support. What are you trying to accomplish? Just drop it in the chat and I can answer that question for you, okay? Junayed Islam, best states to advertise business loans demographic wise. When I was advertising for business loans, um, I do it nationwide, right? That's gonna keep your lead cost as cheap as possible. You wanna have a good negative keyword list to keep out people looking for grants, looking for free money, looking for personal loans. And then I just, did a nationwide campaign and I let that run 24 seven and the leads would come in your conversion tracking optimizes and you get better and better quality leads. The objective here is 
to generate volume, right? And you want to have a backend marketing funnel that captures all of the unqualified leads, monetizes them for you automatically. And then, of course, you want to have your lead buyers on the front end so that you can monetize that lead right away. Okay? There are so many different ways to make money doing this. You just have to have the right knowledge and you have to be part of the right network. That's why I've been to so many masterminds, guys. I've been to every single mastermind since I started. And every time I go to a mastermind, I learn something new. I meet someone new that helps me make more money. Ana Busuego, is the SB funding your site or part of Phil's network? SBfunding.us is my website. That's the site that I built for business loans. SB loans is my business loans website. SB funding was my first try at building a website for business loans, right? So I spent hours and hours and hours building that almost two weeks. And then I spoke to Phil and he was like, what the hell are you doing, man? All I have is a form. And that's what, if you go to sbloans.us, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's just a form. And that's where I made most of my money. When you're paying for your traffic, you don't want them to be able to go anywhere on your site. All you want them to do is accomplish the goal that you've set for your campaigns, right? So when I'm paying $2 for a lead, $5 for a lead, $10 for a lead, I want them to either go to the website and give me their information or, hey, this is not for me and leave, right? I don't want them clicking around. The whole objective of the landing page is to capture data and market to them on the back end, okay? Robert Tyson, I have the done for you program. I have contacted 200 leads. How often should I follow up? Uh, Robert, first of all, you wanna have an automatic follow-up sequence. You don't wanna to have to be messaging these leads yourself. You wanna have a way to market to your leads automatically, to follow up with your leads automatically. If not, man, what's gonna happen when you're generating a hundred leads a day? Your phone's gonna die by noon. All right, you wanna have an automatic follow-up sequence that warms up the leads, that qualifies the leads so that when you do pick up the phone, it's someone who wants to do business with you, okay? I follow up personally every single day. Kevin Dobner, how can I control the area that Facebook markets in? I'm finding people contacting me from out of the United States business loan generation. So wait, I'm gonna go into one of my campaigns and I'll show you um, here. Let me share my screen with you really quickly. That's the top two. This is a campaign I'm running right now. This is for storm damage in Louisiana, right? Ideally, you only want to market in Louisiana. This is for me, I'm doing storm damage in Louisiana. If you want to select a specific location, you have to go into your ad set and you're gonna create an audience and you're gonna select the locations that they're living in, right? And what you wanna do when you do that, you're gonna to go to locations, you're gonna choose here, locations, people living in or recently in this location, you're gonna switch that to people living in this location. And then you're gonna set your targeting details like this, right? business owners, right? Business, 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 small business. You're gonna choose all the different targeting that you want. And that's what's going to help you market more effectively. If you're getting people that are out of the US, you wanna switch your location settings inside of your ad set from people living in or recently in to people living in. And then you're gonna limit it to the United States, okay? sharing. I hope you guys saw that. Um, did you guys see what I just showed you? I don't know if I was sharing properly. Oh, lol. I wasn't sharing my screen. Again, guys, I'll go over it again. 
if you want to target, this is specifically for, um, where was he? Danny Liu, no. Sorry, there's so many questions in this. You gotta give me a, just one quick question here. Um, somebody was asking, he, he says he was getting leads out of the United States. I don't know if I'll share my screen, but I'll go over it again for you guys. This is a campaign I'm running that's specific for Louisiana, okay? So if you go in here, this is the entire ad. This is all the ads that are running currently, right? You wanna go into your campaign. You wanna go into your, this is a campaign level. This is your ad set level. This is your ad level, right? You wanna go into your ad set level. You're gonna scroll down to audience, define who you want to see your ads, right? And again, this is already a running campaign, so I'm not making any changes here. I'm just showing you where to go, right? So what you want to do is, if you want to limit it specifically to the United States, you go to the Locations tab, you click Edit, and you're going to change your location settings from people living in or recently in this location to people living in this location. And then you're going to choose whatever state, business loans, mortgages, you run it nationwide. Um, you're going to choose the country, obviously United States. You're going to choose your demographics, detailed targeting, business loans, right? Small business owners, uh, business page admins, business and finance, right? Business owner. You're going to choose all of the different um, demographics to do your marketing. Again, marketing is trial and error, right? So you're going to test a bunch of different copy and a bunch of different marketing different audiences until you get the result that you want all right this is how you limit your location to only in the united states you change that to people living in the united states and you just select united states here you can just take that out people living in the location united states and you select that and then you just publish okay So stop sharing. We've got a couple more questions here. Is the 3 p.m. call for members or for everybody? The 3 p.m. call is for everybody. It should be in your email. I posted it in the PFS Inner Circle. I posted it in the largest Novatech group. If you want to learn specifically about lead gen and how to make your first 100K a month like I did, go to that website that I sent you guys and watch the short video. All right? I'll post it again for you guys, just so you can do that. All right, just fill that out, watch the video, and you'll be able to learn more. Um, so many questions. Okay. Uh, Mark Steinberg, ad spend was at $25 a day for business loans. Okay, so Mark, you're not doing anything wrong, but whenever I start a campaign on Google, instead of having one campaign spend $25, have five campaigns spend $5. You want Google's ad algorithm or Facebook's algorithm to deliver leads for you at the lowest possible cost. So when you start at $25 a day, what's going to happen is, it's going to spend the whole 25 and then it's going to optimize. If you start at $5 a day, it's going to spend $5 a day and then continually optimize. So take that budget and break it into multiple campaigns so Facebook can give you the results that you're looking for. Okay. We have Christopher Felton. I've got everything set up for my loan broker business and have marketing my site for the past several weeks, not one lead. What is the best way to go about marketing this without having to pay significantly more money right now? Again, there are a lot of options to generate free leads. Okay. Paying for your leads is obviously the fastest way to make that happen. You can just buy age leads, right? If you do buy age leads, you're going to have to contact them, text them, call them, email them yourself. That's how I started. I had 2000 leads from Phil. 
I was literally on the phone every single day, making 100, 150 phone calls, 200 phone calls, calling, emailing, and texting as many people as I could. It, it, again, guys, it's how bad you want, right? If you're going to spend an hour a day doing this, sure, you'll get results, but it might just fizzle out, right? If you commit to this and make it happen, it's going to happen, right? The more time you spend, the luckier you get and the better your results will get, okay? Danny Liu, do you have a Facebook group? Can you post your YouTube channel on here, please? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Give me one sec. Let me go to YouTube. I'll give you that link right now. Um, for my YouTube channel, just go here, guys. It's Opus One Marketing and Business Strategy. That's my YouTube channel. I posted it in the chat for you guys. Um, so you guys can jump onto that. So right here okay so many so many questions um okay pk where can i find more information on the type of business loans and the terms you guys offer um I, there's so many different options i've honestly can't go over it with you guys. It's just going to take too much time. This is a one hour call, but there are so many different business loans that you can give. I don't even know how many types there are. I just send the lead to rock and they handle all of that. If you're qualified for this, you get this. If you're qualified for that, you get that. I just like to make my life easy and I generate the lead and I have the people with the experience do all the work. Uh, Rasik Rana, can I get your phone number again, please? Again, it's 305 609 4929. Greg Hicks, can you create an ad campaign for debt free living with the Done for You package? It would be showing people how to pay off all their debt in eight to nine leads, including mortgage using whole life insurance. What I would do there is I would generate the lead for business loans or generate the lead for mortgage and then automatically market that to them through your emails or through your text messages or through your auto dialer, whatever it would be, right? You don't want to spend a bunch of effort marketing 10 different things. You want to focus on one thing, lead generation. You generate the lead and you build an automated funnel that contacts them with all the other services that you provide. Israel Ma. Let me show you what my website looks like. He just asked, do you always want your leads to answer a survey? There are a lot of different strategies you could use, but this is my website. And they answer the form. What are your gross monthly sales? How long have you been in business? What state are you in? What kind of bank account do you have? What's your credit score? They give me their information and they click get approved today. Everything else gets handled on the back end. Everything. All I do is generate leads. I push them to my landing page. They can't go anywhere but to fill out this form. You either fill out the form or you get out. That's the easiest way. Okay. We've got a couple more questions here. Let me just find the chat. Um, Okay. Ray Gruber. Hey, Conrad, is your Tuesday, Thursday call always at 1.30 Eastern time? Um, for now, we're doing just the Thursday call at 1.30 Eastern time. Tuesday, Thursday was overwhelming and it didn't give you guys enough time to actually put what I show you into action. So I'm pushing that to Thursdays at 1.30 um, Eastern time. All right, I wanna be able to help you guys get the results you're looking for. I'm here to teach you guys as much as I can, okay? Is the session 3 p.m. Pacific time? Anna, no, the session is at 3 p.m. Eastern time. That's where we're gonna go over lead generation and uh, how I made my first 100K month, six-figure month, 
Joanna Falk. I need to know, I need to know, I, I know I need to learn this language. I bought a loan broker at 997, but here lead gen, is that something I do with the loan broker? When you become a business loan broker, you have to generate leads for business loans, right? It's just tying you in to one vertical. I took the skills that I learned in business loans, marketing, website building, website design, conversion optimization, performance marketing, whatever it was, building contacts, selling leads. I took that and I applied it to multiple different verticals, right? And now I just slid into being a lead generator, okay? What is your typical cost per lead on Facebook for business loan leads? What's a good target cost? So for business loan leads, that's my cost per conversion, $2.68, right? I did a lot of optimization and sometimes the leads cost 10, 15, 20 bucks, but overall you want to be within the five to $10 range. I'm not saying you all can get results like this. I, I spent a lot of time learning Google. That's why my results are like this, but a good cost is five to 10 bucks. And you guys should be happy with that. That's going to be a good target cost to start. Okay. Can you show us the back end of your business loan ads on Facebook? I did business loan ads on Google. So these are the keywords that I'm running, right? Um, and I just, it, you just have to build it out, guys. That's it. So we're doing this. These are my ads. I like to be very specific. Um, keywords, the audiences here are for, just let that load up. We have the audiences. If you know how to use Google, this is more than enough to start getting you succeeding. Okay. So business loans. That's it. That's my segment. And then of course, my old customer list. So that's one of them here. All right. I have no backend marketing and haven't had luck with lead buyer outside of credit repair, which covers nothing. You just got to keep grinding, Mark. Just got to keep grinding. You're going to find that person. When you approach a lead buyer, I never approach them with the intention of selling volume, right? I get them on the phone. I tell them, hey, I've got business loan leads um, that are generating. We have some space open to give you a couple of leads a day. Do you want to do a test? It's always about testing. Business loan companies, mortgage companies, any kind of big company has an allocated market budget just for marketing, right? So you tell them, hey, I'm going to push you 100 leads to test. It's going to cost you 20 bucks each. Let me know how they turn out. They're going to tell you yes. They're going to tell you no. If it's a really big company, start with a bigger number. Hey, I'd like to run a test with you for 500 leads. Can you give me some metrics? You have to talk like you've been doing this for a long time. If you call them, say, hey, I've got leads to test, you know, 10 bucks, whatever. You, you got to come in with full confidence that the leads you have are quality. And more than likely, they're like, yeah, sure, I'll give you a test. Okay. Tony, have to step away. Are you in Novatech? Yes, I am. Can you comment on your experience so far with the bonus and whether or not you are marketing on Facebook? I am in Novatech. I have been getting paid every week so far. Tony, if you do want to get involved, shoot me a text and I'll show you how to get set up with everything. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm making like, I invested 3000, my accounts at 4,100 and I'm making about 300 bucks a week right now on Novatech, right? 3% from my account. And then another couple percentage points from the referrals that I have. So it's absolutely working. How much of the 2k age leads did you close roughly? The average business loan commission is like $2,000. So you know, 2000 leads cost me 2000 bucks and my closing rate was 1%. All right. Obviously not all of the deals are going to close, but with 2000 age business loan leads, you should more than cover the cost it takes to buy those leads. Okay. What are some marketing strategies besides Facebook 
for fast track self-employed mortgages? Great question, Lisa. Um, so what we're doing is I'm pushing them into refinance with, I'm trying to name the company, but it's in my emails. I push them into the refinance offer, veterans loans offer. For the ones that have bad credit, I push them into the credit repair offer for mortgages. I push them into my Novatech funnel, right, for passive income. The opportunities are endless. Um, as far as marketing strategies besides Facebook, you could always put boots on the ground and go bang doors down, right? You can go to mortgage lenders in your, in your area. You can go to local businesses and tell them, hey, we have a mortgages specifically for business owners, right? The whole objective here is to save time. If you want to commit time to your day, going out, making new contacts, that's great. I did that. I got burnt out after about six months and I just ended up paying for my leads and that always works out better. Ana Busuego, is Google better or Facebook? Facebook is cheaper and easier to scale. Google is better quality and a little bit more expensive. I tested both, I market on both. And as a marketer, you should commit to learning both platforms and advertising on both platforms, okay? There are so many different things you can do with Google and Facebook. Um, I wouldn't limit myself to one. I would commit to learning both. Obviously, focus on the one that you're already doing now so you can master that. And then you can go ahead and learn the other one. And of course, we're always here to help you out. You can contact me. I sh text me if you need help with anything. Um, I provide that as a service as well, okay? Are you using a specific email funnel system autoresponder? Do you call leads personally or use a system like call fire? Um, I, Joanna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't like talking to people. And the last thing I wanna do is make 150 phone calls a day talking to people who just want free money or grants or whatever that. If I'm gonna get on the phone, I'm gonna make sure it's an absolutely qualified lead just so I don't waste my time. I use Aweber and Active Campaign for my autoresponder system. I don't call the leads personally anymore. I don't have to. Now I just push them over to Rock. I push them over to the mortgage team and they handle the qualifying, the calling and the closing, okay? Chris Ulrich, are you calling on your leads first or are you pushing the web submission leads straight to rock for them to call. They go straight to rock and they handle the calls, man. Chris, sometimes I would generate 400 leads in a day. If I have to call 400 people, I'm literally gonna drive into oncoming traffic. I absolutely don't wanna do it. I let rock handle that. I let finance factory handle that. I let my partners handle that. I just give them the lead and they pay me either per lead or they pay me on the back end. Easiest way to do it. Mark Steinberg, too many unqualified leads go to rock. What can I do about that to filter? So that's the issue with business loans. And that's why I like mortgages and lead generation. Mortgages, no one wants to get a mortgage if they don't have money, right? And we're advertising specifically business owner mortgages. So it's a business owner with some money. So what we do is we generate the mortgage lead. We sell that off. The ones that qualify for a business loan, we push them to rock and we also sell them, right? The unqualified leads, I push them into credit repair, debt consolidation, personal loans, business credit, credit building services, whatever that is. But I automate all of that shit. So I don't have to call people. I don't have to email people. I let my email marketing do all of the heavy lifting, okay? All right, guys, I have to jump off. We've got five minutes left. Um, I have to get ready for the three o'clock call, but I wanna take this last moment, guys, just to ask you if you have any final questions about lead generation, business loans, if you have any questions about marketing, paper call, 
mortgages, whatever it is. I'm here to answer your questions, guys. Okay? Will there be a replay of this? There should be a replay of this. Um, it's also on Facebook. I shared it. So you should be able to see that. Okay? And for Mark, if you're having a lot of unqualified leads, you have to build your follow-up marketing system. If you have less than 500 credit and you make less than $6,000 a month, I personally, I can't help you get a business loan, but I can help you get credit repair. I can help you do debt consolidation and I can help you get personal loans. I just don't want to talk to that lead. I want to talk to the lead that's making 50K a month with great credit, okay? That's the person I'm going to answer the phone for. So you want to have some sort of automated marketing funnel that segments those leads, the unqualified ones, and it just markets to them a bunch of different affiliate offers so you don't have to handle that. Okay. Joanna, thank you for your time. Thank you for your time, guys. I really appreciate you guys for jumping on. Again, I'm going to put the links here. This is my YouTube channel. Sign and subscribe. <laughs> All right. If you're interested in learning how to do lead generation, this is the big one, guys. I want you to go to this website and just click on it, open it up in another tab, watch the video later if you want. Watch that video and fill out the form, okay? And most importantly, we are gonna have a call at 3 p.m. So register for that and then we'll be able to help you out, okay? Let me see if there were any other links that I gave you guys just to be safe. Yeah, loan broker, LG1. Um, and again, guys, I'm here to help you guys out, okay? where to register for the 3 p.m. call. Give me one second and I'll give you that link right now. Copy link. To register for the 3 p.m. call, go to this link, okay? Sorry, that's the wrong link. Go to this link. That's where you register for the 3 p.m. call. If you want to learn more about lead gen, go to this link. And if you want to talk to me, my phone number is also at the chat, okay? So save that in your phone. My name is Conrad. I'm here to help you with your lead generation goals, your business goals, whatever it is. Shoot me a text, all right? If you want to learn more about lead gen, watch that short video on loanbrokernetwork.com slash LG1. If you need my phone number, it's there. My name is Conrad. Just save that on your phone, shoot me a text. And if you want to register for the 3 p.m. lead generation call, that's the Zoom link. Don't do the AWeber link, do the Zoom link. I'm pretty sure they both are the same thing, but um, I would just use that other one, okay, guys? We got two minutes left. Are there any final questions that you guys have that I can answer for you? All right, guys, you guys are all amazing. Have a safe day. And uh, again, just reach out, text me if you need help. Follow that link if you want to learn more about lead gen, okay? Have a safe day, guys. I'll see you at 3 p.m.